Hello, welcome to the Nerd Talk Podcast. It's your host, Gucci Gucci.AJK with Remington. Hey, how's it going? We're here interviewing Sean Harrison from Family Matters. Do you like the con so far? Yes, I very much enjoyed my time here at the con. This is the third day that uh, myself, Darius McCrary, and Kelly Williams have been here at the Rhode Island Comic Con. <laughs> All right, we got a couple questions here for you. You know, just answer them as truthfully as possible. Um, how has... <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. This sounds like a setup. What's no, going no. on here? I, I promise there is no setup here. <laughs> Uh-huh. No, if there's a setup, then you can you can come talk to us. Okay. <laughs> How has your character Waldo Faldo influenced you, or has it ever influenced you? I'm gonna go with no. The character <laughs> of Waldo has never influenced Sean in his real life. No, sir. Now let me get a reason why. <laughs> I didn't really have a connection to the character in that way. You know, sometimes you hear actors say, "I pull pieces of myself yeah. and and infuse them into the character." You to give it that little spice. I mean, it's been a minute since I've really thought about my preparation for doing the character, but my memory at the moment is telling me I don't remember feeling like, oh, this thing about Sean will work perfectly for Waldo. I don't think so, but yeah, like I could be wrong because, people. in essence, you in, even when you aren't thinking about it, unintentionally, it kind of happens anyway. Yeah. Um, but I, going back to the first part, <laughs> I don't think that it's influenced me in a certain type of way. There was nothing about the character that made me go, oh, wouldn't that be great to try on for Sean for himself? You know, nah. <laughs> nah, you can keep that on the TV show. Keep it keep it on cable. <laughs> and what's funny is when you play a character, I think, as dynamic and over the top as the Waldo character is, there's a part of you that does think about that so that people don't, so that people can understand that there is a difference there because Separate. when people, yes, when people meet you, they are curious to know, are you similar to the character that you play? So there are times in my mind where I'm thinking to myself, I don't want people to think that I'm that dim-witted. I don't want people to think I'm X, Y, and Z. So well, it could have been a conscious well, choice where I was going to like, no, no. I don't, no. Wanna, I don't right. want to be known as the nerd. You know? Right, exactly. So you get it. Uh, yeah. So I think back then there was a, a, a conscious choice that I was making yeah. in regards to making sure that there was like a wall of separation between what Waldo was yeah. and what Sean was in real life. Of course. Well, speaking of you know the acting, like, have you ever had a like? What have you ever played like other roles that were maybe better than Waldo Faldo or? Like more influential. Yeah. What could influence? Once again, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> <laughs> I played other kids, so I don't know if anything has ever. Man, this is a really tough one because I wasn't expecting these. Look, you know what? I got to give you guys credit. These are fun questions. <laughs> exactly, man. We were thinking about it. You know, like <laughs> this is a little outside of the box of what I thought the scope would be. Um, thinking back to some of the things that I've done and been fortunate to do, no, there, there really hasn't been anything I think that was was better. Um, I don't think there's been anything that has influenced me, but there have been a lot of fun things that I've done. But at the end <laughs> of the day, I would say that the most fun character that I have played, has it, it's still Waldo. To this day, to date. Right what has now. been your favorite role to play in any kind of project? Uh, he's still, he's like, this is a hard one, man. This is getting him thinking. <laughs> I like that question because uh, I've been doing some Throwback Thursday stuff where mm-hmm. I've found some old clips of things that I did. And there was, okay, back in the, I want to say this was the 80s. It was the 80s. Um, (laughs) Don't correct me on that. (laughs) It was in the 80s. There was... See, now you got me thinking. Yeah, it was the 80s. It was the 80s. 80s. So back in the 80s, PBS, Public Broadcasting, they would do these, like, hour specials. And uh, at that time, there was a company that they worked with called Wonderworks. And there was um, a project that was about the Watts Towers, which is in Watts, California. I grew up in Compton, so Watts is adjacent to to Watts is adjacent to Compton. Yeah. So that was a really fun experience for me to be a part of because it was kind of personal in that it was a part of my everyday world. Yeah. And to go audition for something and then be hired to be like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we filmed a couple of things in Compton uh, as well. We went to the Watts Towers to film stuff. So that uh, is the thing that I think. I wouldn't necessarily classify it as the most fun thing, but I think it's the most... Uh, sort of like, this is my personal. childhood, you know? Yeah, like, this is where yeah, I grew yeah. up from. Yeah, 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 yeah. My childhood as far as, like, outside of 
the acting thing because it, it touched on things that were familiar to me. Now, now, did you graduate from comp? Did you finish all of high school? Another, <laughs> you know, this is only an interesting question just because of, of my situation. No, I did not go to, to high school in Compton. Uh, when I started doing high school, I uh, had switched over to doing independent study. So all of my high school years were done via independent study. And um, the interesting, the reason why I smiled is that <laughs> Most people don't know because the question never comes up is that I did not finish high school. What happened was uh, when I was getting ready to um, when I was getting ready to think about college, I was right in the middle of like my 12th grade year. Long story short, without giving any more detail, it just seemed better to take an exam and get the credit for high school and then move on to doing my college work and so that's what I did hey I mean that still got you to where you are now you know like you gotta love it man. well you, the, the thing is I'll just you know I went to college like I went to college I have a college degree so it's not like I was trying to get away from school mm -hmm. it was just that at that time the circumstances were such that I kind of needed to wrap up high school and move on to the next thing uh, but it didn't it wasn't about like oh my 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 career is advanced by finishing up high school in this type of way or anything like that. Oh, shit. Know. I feel that, yeah. That's good. Do you have any other talents other than acting? Um, yes and no. Because, <laughs> you know, you ever heard that expression, if you don't use it, you lose it? Yeah, yeah exactly. So my natural gifting is dancing. Oh, that's yeah. like... Yeah, that's me too. Yeah, I do dancing. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I started taking tap dance lessons when I was four. I tapped or uh, took lessons from the age of like four till about 13, 14. So that's, you know, another skill that I have. But unfortunately, it's diminished to the point where I'm not so good anymore because I haven't used passing. it. Yeah. But when you're a dancer, like if you really have that natural gifting, it's almost like riding a bike. So I can still do a lot of things associated with it, but just I'm not as proficient as I used to be with dancing. So, uh, Tap, did jazz, did a little bit of ballet. Yeah, um, that's exactly the situation I'm, I'm in too. You know, I do ballet, jazz, and I do acro, to acrobatics. Love, love, love yeah. yeah, I taught myself how to do uh, flips and stuff like that. Yeah, as well. sweet. That's cool. You can, uh -huh. you can do all kinds of flips. Yeah, yeah, I just learned my um, double back handspring into a back tuck. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting it. You know, I'm getting that height. I have a video on um, Instagram that I posted about four months ago where I wanted to see if I could still do back flips. <laughs> so I did that. Uh, you, you landed it? Oh, of course I did. Oh, don't sweet. make me pull yeah. it up on IG. Don't I mean, make if me you want to pull it up, go ahead. You could go oh, show Flexer. Look, after we're done with this, because I don't want to take up my time, because I got to uh, pull it up for y'all, show you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, do you, last, last question. Do you have any future projects coming up that you want to plug? I do not, but... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no, none about it. No, but what, what, I, what I am trying to do is develop my own food show. I'm a foodie, so... Me too, we do food um, reviews. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, so that's something that I want to do. It's, it'll be fun for me. I love dessert. Mm -hmm. So people are always asking me, like, what's a good, you know, I call them treats. Right what's a good treat? Uh, what's a good, good treat? He went to the green room. Uh, <laughs> what's a good treat? You know, so I'll share. I'll share. I will <laughs> share. Like, sure, don't say me <laughs> So I'll share with them stuff that I've tasted and stuff that I think that's, you know, great. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Good though. Hopefully, like when you start doing it, yo, let me know about that. I'll yeah, definitely we'll watch it. You yeah. on the show, you okay. Know? Yeah. Thank All right. You. Cool. Yeah. It was nice yeah. meeting you. Nice to meet you as well. I remember you guys were coming back. I've been looking, so <laughs> this is a perfect time because look, we're closing up. Yeah. 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 You can all.